Memphis Veterans Administration Hospital provides life-saving medical treatment for Mid-South veterans. And tonight, a new doctor at the VA is getting top marks for the care he provides for our war heroes. Action News 5's Joyce Peterson live to show you why on this Memorial Day, Joyce, the young physician is being honored. Joy and Joe, you know those people who do more in one day than most of us do in an entire week? Well, this Memphis VA doctor is one of those people. The only thing more impressive than the path he took to get to the Bluff City is the care that he shows for Mid-South military members. At the Memphis VA, Dr. Arjun Flora relies on the Hippocratic Oath and words from the Bengali poet Tagore to guide him. I slept and dreamt that life was joy. I awoke and saw that life was service. I acted and behold, service is joy. So I keep that in my head every day. Service should be his middle name. Dr. Flora worked at the Cincinnati VA and a private hospital in Pennsylvania during COVID. Disheartened by the death around him, the talented young pulmonologist quit medicine and became a firefighter. It sounds odd, but I'd rather go into a burning building than to, <laughs> to deal with, you know, how healthcare is in the United States. But again, there's a cause. And so if the cause is the mission for veterans, that's where, you know, the benefit comes in, where it doesn't matter how it is being a physician nowadays. You know, that's the calling. The call to help veterans brought him back to medicine and to Memphis a year ago, and he brought change with him. I can't say enough good about him. Uh, wonderful guy. For the first time in years, U.S. Army veteran Michael Gafford, who suffers from emphysema, can breathe easy again. In February, Dr. Flora used new technology to perform the Memphis VA's very first bronchoscopic lung volume reduction on Gafford, rarely leaving his side in recovery. I don't know uh, what he did about changing clothes or anything else, but I know he stayed in this hospital several days. If he had left, I'd be dead. He's, uh, he's number one in my book. Here it is. In May, the Tennessee National Guard gave Dr. Flora the commendation ribbon for helping train 1,000 service members on combat casualty care. A four-day event at McGee Tyson Air Base in Knoxville, where Dr. Flora volunteered his time and expertise. You see these young kids and you just imagine that anything that would happen to them, at least provide them with the opportunity to know that they can save each other's lives. The Ohio National Guard also recognized Dr. Flora for his volunteer work during COVID, going into nursing homes, helping patients abandoned by the staff. A true lifesaver now making a difference at the Memphis VA. I think they're just very excited and happy to have somebody who wants to do something and wants to advance us into the 21st century, bring the latest and greatest state of the art care for our veterans. You know, I can actually do something here. All right, Dr. Flora is also an assistant professor at UTHSC, and he's currently doing research work at the VA, tried to come up with a nasal swab that could detect lung cancer so patients can avoid those intrusive bronchoscopy procedures. And if that's not enough, he has already reached out to the Fayette County Fire Department to see if they need any volunteer firefighters. Service-minded indeed. Reporting live on this Memorial Day, I'm Joyce Peterson. Joe, back to you.